What's up guys, just a quick little video here since I haven't updated anything in a while. As I announced earlier, I will be doing some LPs and some hacks and stuff here in the future. That has yet to start because I have yet to got any more type of recommendations. So leave them in the thread. I will post a link on the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, this is a quick video regarding Mr. Kennedy and how it affects MVP, especially since MVP has lost the United States title as of this past Monday night on Raw. Uh, a lot of people are speculating, and I'm going to be prone to agree, that this move actually means that Mr. Kennedy will be elevated to main event status because of him losing the United States title and with Kennedy's subsequent departure. This is just a rumor that's kind of going around the internet community. It's not something that I'm confirming nor non-confirming. It's just something that I think would make sense right now. It's something that really has a lot of promise. Because right now, the main event of Raw, the, the main event players of Raw, are very, very stale. We're looking at John Cena, The Big Show, Batista, and Randy Orton. And we have seen that between these four, we have gotten very, very few in the, in the way of very good matches. A lot of the matches have been kind of dry. They've been something that we've seen before over and over again, and they've failed to really capture the interest. Some of the angles may be a little bit interesting, like John Cena being unable to lock in the STF on the Big Show for their submission match, and the fact that Batista has enlisted Rain, or, uh, Ric Flair as his mentor, well, we're not sure how long that's going to last now, obviously because of Ric Flair being punted in the head, but it's just kind of interesting to see that Mr. Kennedy's departure really actually has mutual benefit for other WWE superstars. Because as you know, Kennedy was really supposed to be thrust right back into the main event status. But with all of the hullabaloo that happened two weeks ago during his return match on Raw, he's obviously been released, he's, he's gone. There are rumors saying that he's going to go to TNA after his 90-day waiver contract expires with the WWE. If he does, best of luck to him. But this is great for MVP. MVP may be a little bit of an older competitor compared to some of the younger superstars. But whenever it comes to people on Raw that I think are really ready for that leap, I think that he's probably the only one that has it right now. Right now, as I said, the main event roster of Raw is kind of lacking because both Triple H and HBK are gone. And while I'm not exactly saddened by that, I think that some of the other people that they could promote, some people that maybe people want to see promoted, such as The Miz and, um, and maybe William Regal, I, I just don't think that they're ready. For one, The Miz is still fresh and new to the singles game, and William Regal has been around the business for quite a long time, and I think his role right now is more so to help other superstars get over or to advance storylines. I really don't think that he's going to be somebody who they're going to thrust towards world championship status. However, MVP, on the other hand, I think is a prime and perfect candidate. I want to know your thoughts, though. Uh, do you think that MVP would make a good candidate for the world title picture? Now, I'm not saying that he should win it. I'm saying that if Randy Orton and the WWE wants to maintain prestige for their title, they should keep it on Randy Orton or whoever they give it to for a while and have them score marquee victories and not look weak like Randy Orton looks right now. Even though he punted Ric Flair in the head, that match, the, the street fight, was an absolute atrocity. Orton looked horrible. A 60-year-old man was able to take on three men, and that's just irrational. But at any rate, guys, like I said, I want to hear your opinions. I want to know what you guys think about MVP potentially being propelled into the main event status. And like I said, there's a couple links over in the description uh, about some of my other projects. I would also love if you were to click on those, give your opinions, give your thoughts, uh, give your suggestions. And until next time, guys, take care. Oh, by the way, don't forget, Extreme Rules happens this coming Sunday, and you will probably see my over on the Delinquents Wrestling channel here on YouTube. So if you like my opinions about pay-per-views, if you like my predictions, if you like the analysis, 
check it out over there because not only are you going to get mine, you're also going to get two very intelligent individuals also uh, predicting what they think is going to happen at the pay-per-view. But anyways, check out the links, check out everything, and I'll talk to you guys later. Leave me comments and I'll reply to you.